Hello YouTube, welcome back to my video. In this video, I am going to show you how to test a web service uh, for example an HTTP request uh, through online and uh, with the help of a plugin in Chrome and I'll show you how to test. So as you know, uh, there are two uh, common methods of uh, web service uh, which is uh, the get request and post request. These are the two methods which we are uh, sending the request. So if it's a get service, uh, get request, you can uh, directly uh, test it through uh, the, your browser itself. I'll show you how, but if it's, it is a post request, uh, you should uh, go through uh, a separate method. So I'll show you that also. So to test our service, I'll show you a real-time example. There is a website named uh, ipinfodb.com. So this website is uh, actually uh, provide services if you if you pass uh, if you give the request with uh, the IP address uh, it will give, give a response uh, which uh, uh, from where that IP address belongs to I'll show you uh, first I'll have to log in in, in this account this is a basic stuff you can uh, sign up with uh, your username and password so let me log in with mine okay i have logged in uh, in my uh, web uh, my account here so i have an api key here okay so this api key, uh, key will be needed for our uh, get request actually the request which we are sending to get the details uh, the service uh, to access the service from the website so you can see here uh, ip location api is there so i'm going to uh, a json api and the xml api is there and i can sh select any anyone so i'll select the uh, xml api itself if we send an HTTP request, you can see it is support uh, uh, both HTTP and HTTPS uh, request. So if you are, if you are sending an HTTP request to this address, this uh, uh, link with your key and uh, with your key and IP address, and it will return back the location of uh, uh, the IP address. Okay. So for our testing, let me uh, copy uh, the URL first. So I'm uh, this both will work. If you are selecting this one, it will return the country, and if you are selecting this one. Uh, it will return and the city so uh, let me select uh, this link first and uh, just copy it and now it's saying we should uh, give your key and the IP address let me copy there also here okay now yes let me copy here itself okay now I'll copy my key from here I need the key uh, AP key here let me oh, it's logged out let me log in again So this is my api key let me copy it and i'm just pasting it here okay now if i am just uh, copying this one uh, to my browser it will return uh, the ip address location as you can see this ip address belong to a uh, united state oklahoma and uh, all other details. it is uh, uh, even uh, returning me back uh, the timestamp also okay so uh, there are two methods actually here it is saying uh, if we uh, we should pass key IP address even if we uh, we can pass the format also so let me try with format also I'll just give ampersand format equal to JSON okay now if I copy this one and paste it here it will return me back uh, the JSON response okay now I'll show you uh, and uh, this is the way you can directly test it but this is a get request there are some cases we should uh, go for the post request or post request only so this one won't work there i'll show you an example so this uh, page is an open authorization uh, login page uh, for the reddit so this uh, api provides me to login uh, through uh, using ready using uh, the web service which i just shown here so here uh, it is saying uh, saying like to get the access token from the reddit you should uh, pass a request it which is actually a post and we should which could not be uh, uh, pass it as url okay so we should we should uh, pass this only the post because the uh, the post method is the the method which we are uh, usually using for programmatically okay so this will uh, allow you to send in the post request only as you can see it clearly mentioned that it's not as a part of url okay so we should uh, use another method uh, this is the programmatical method but uh, we cannot go for program programmatical method always so in order to test this we have uh, i'll show you an extension google chrome extension 
it is known as postman just uh, uh, search for postman and you will get a uh, chrome web, chrome uh, extension on that so just uh, install that extension and uh, just click add let it download so after download you'll uh, get automatically installed your uh, postman uh, chrome extension okay i have successfully installed my uh, postman extension just click on that it will open so you'll have to sign up on, on the postman it's a basic step you can do it uh, on the go it's not a big deal so i am uh, just uh, uh, logging in okay have uh, successfully logged in with postman as you can see uh, this will be your dashboard where you can uh, attach your api request i mean the http request now in uh, you can see here what type of request you want to send so in uh, in if uh, we are going for this example we should uh, take the postman request as post and uh, do all the stuff here now i'm going to get uh, the get only so in order for the get request just select the get and now the api for uh, the link which we want to uh, submit the request is this one let me copy it and paste it here now we have to uh, give the headers and not headers we have to give the parameters what all the parameters which we have to pass it so the param first parameter is the key here let me copy that so the parameter name is key and the value is uh, this one okay just copy all these values come here paste it here okay now one more key i need is the ip address so just copy the ip and the key name is ip and the value is this one copy that come here and paste it here now if i uh, just send a request it should return me uh, the value which we have got from uh, the http request okay this is actually a get request okay so if you want any post request also just uh, select the post here and uh, these all are uh, the request type which you can uh, uh, test in this postman now i uh, let me uh, try the format let me change the format uh, format as you can see in this uh, page it is uh, clearly mentioned wh what all we want to pass format and the key ip format so i'll try uh, the format here uh, as json copy it paste it now if i send it it will return me a json uh, response of uh, that request and one more form is the raw format so i'll think let me try that also i'm not sure what will be the output of that let me try it yes in the raw format it is same as uh, the one which we are if we are not specifying anything it will be the raw format and if i'm giving xml it will it will give me the xml response okay now that's all about how to test uh, your uh, json i mean uh, the http request or web service uh, through the postman and uh, another way is uh, just go for google go to google and just search for test uh, http request online okay just search for that you will get a plenty of tools online itself uh, so i just shown uh, how to do it in a through a extension now through this we can also test it let me try here from here also copy this uh, uh, link here and you can uh, set the parameters here okay the parameters i am setting it as key same way which we have just set on that postman key i am copying all this one and uh, ip address i am just giving it as uh, this one okay i'm not setting the uh, format now it will be a row so just click i'm not robot and uh, just click launch request so it should return me the same thing which we have got from uh, what this uh, the raw request okay so that's all for now how to test a http request uh, in get and post if it is a post request you can directly select the post here and this is the online method and i have uh, this is the the testing using an extension called postman so i'll show in my next video how to programmatically do this in java and get the response and do it in java project okay uh, so if you have any doubt in this please comment below i'll be helping you and please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching